I never know if they tell me the truth. So <laughs> they say they're just going crazy. And I told them I do that in the office when I watch the film. <laughs> All right. And I see them line up wrong. And in October, I spent a whole month doing this. So, you know, I, I want to go up to them sometimes when it's light and go, What's your name? <laughs> yes, sir. You know, relax. Right now, we're like the Germans in World War II. All right, here comes the boats. It was coming. You know, the binoculars, like, oh my God, the invasion is coming. All right, that's what they did. They were in the bunkers. It's coming. They call Rommel. They can't find Rommel. What do we do? I'm not doing anything till I get orders. <laughs> Have you gotten Rommel yet? A few staph infections, so we did a clinic yesterday on proper shower technique and soap and using a rag. We put some new rags in. Y'all think I'm kidding, all right? I'm serious. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, I mean, you, you know, we, we had, I told them, we had the worst shower discipline <laughs> of any team I've ever been around. And so we talked a little bit about, you know, application of soap to the rag and making sure you hit all your body. You know, you can neglect it trying to cut corners and it, it shows in how you practice and, and elsewhere. So I'm hoping we show some improvement in that. Allowed to fair catch it if they're blocking it in there. There's a new rule they put in. I told our guys that if there's a guy in your face, they're going to let you stick your hand up and they won't hit you. Jansen didn't know that. Um, I'm just kidding. We have the smallest team in college football. I just talked to our team. I told them I'm, I'm, I can't do this, but if it was not an NCAA violation, I'd give a cash bonus a big cash bonus to the first player since I've been here that's going to be overweight. And I'm going to say you need to slim up. And I'm waiting for that one. Um, he handled it like he handles everything I tell him. Yes, sir. Tyler, your house is burning up. Okay. We'll get over. I think I left a couple of things in there. And we didn't do it. And then that turns it over, and then we come back, get a couple of first downs, but then we get sacked. And so then we back them up, and then they hand the ball off to 21, and, you know, he looks like Secretariat running through us. Some former players who are concerned that there's not the open-door policy that they've had. Why are they concerned about that? It's because of things that are getting said that did not come from me. Well, is there, do they call every time, or is there an open door policy? I mean, I talked to one who. How, well, how confusing is this? I want to come to practice. Okay. Bleh. I mean, that's when you go to somebody's house, what do you do? You don't just walk in. You go, hey, Jimmy, I'm going to come over today. Boom. Right? I mean, what's so hard about that? Did you, did you have any qualms in his first game? Yeah. Morning? Every time I <laughs> call that stuff, you know. <laughs> I just, I let it slip out of my mouth, and then I go, why did I do that, 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 why did I do that? Did I do that? oh good, I'm right, I did it. You <laughs> had a couple grabs today out there yourself, on the sideline. Yeah. Didn't yell to be able to do called bad throws, not good catches. What's that? We wondered if you had any eligibility there, if you used it up. I'm just showing you, it's not hard to catch the football. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you got, Coach, you got a little excited and gave a little I'm going to go catch some punts. <laughs> I mean, what else is there to talk about? And so now it's news. I mean, we got to start spring practice. Let's talk about it. Uh, you know, I'm here to represent the program, not just get in front of the media and talk. Uh, had I known I was going to have to come out here and speak to you guys, I would have made sure we played better on Saturday. Uh, when I got a text from Mike kind of saying, are you, you know, I'm just texting you to see if you're interested. First off, I was glad I knew how to text. <laughs> so I knew right away that would limit a lot of the coaches in this profession because they didn't even answer it. When I got here, there were some obvious uh, – differences, if you will, between, I think, some of our student-athletes and, and some of the law enforcement. 
Uh, I don't think that's something that has been, and, and I'm, I wasn't really trying to make a joke, but I guess it was, but. What have you guys done to bond? Uh, as they're... <laughs> is that important, or is it just you get in a room and watch film and coach and coach and you go coach? Yeah. I guess that goes back to what is team building, you know, and and I don't think you build a team by holding hands and singing kumbaya, okay? I just don't. I think you learn, you build close closeness and togetherness when it gets a little thick to see how people respond. And so our team building will come when it gets thick. You know, I don't know, I mean, we're, I don't, I'm not a big, you know, take the coaches on a canoe trip. So we, I mean, I mean, we're together 15 hours a day in a room, you know, enough. This is when it's bad as a coach. You know when you play good or when you win, because you, you turn on your phone when everything's done and it's just blowing up. Messages, texts, man, that was awesome, blah, 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 blah. This is when it's bad. You turn on your phone. No missed calls, no texts, no voicemails. And, and that's when you go, God, man, we must have been bad. You, know, you don't even go, hey, I'm hurting for you. You know, you guys played hard, whatever. You get nothing. That's what my phone looked like after Georgia. Not even from my parents, you know. So I knew then, all right, on to the next week.